In a lysogenic cycle, viral nucleic acid becomes part of the host cell's chromosome and is replicated with it. Eventually, the virus enters a lytic cycle and kills the host cells. A bacteriophage attaches to a bacterial host cell by locking onto a specific receptor site on the surface of the host cell. The virus then injects its DNA into the host cell. Once inside the cell, the viral DNA inserts itself into a specific site in the chromosome of the host cell. Viral DNA is then called a provirus. During cell reproduction, the host cell copies the provirus genes along with its own DNA. The provirus is inactive at this time. When the cell divides, both the host genes and the provirus genes are passed on to the two daughter cells. At any time, a provirus may leave the host chromosome and enter a lytic cycle. When this happens, the host cell's DNA is broken down and new virus parts are produced and assembled. Eventually, the cell ruptures and new virus particles are released. Is a viral reproductive cycle in which a virus takes over all metabolic activities of a cell, replicates itself many times, then destroys the host cell. A bacteriophage attaches to a bacterial host cell by recognizing and locking onto a specific receptor site on the surface of the host cell. The virus then injects its DNA into the host cell. The empty coat remains outside the cell. Inside the cell, the viral DNA breaks down the host cell's DNA. The virus then takes over the total metabolic activities of the host cell. By using the raw materials present in the cell, the viral DNA directs the production of new virus parts. The newly produced viral components are assembled into complete new virus particles. The host cell bursts open and releases 100 to 200 new virus particles. These new particles can begin another cycle by infecting nearby cells.